Hello, today we are coming together to discuss analog controlled cabling. More specifically, controlled using a Phoenix connection. There can be three pin, which would be a ground transmit receive. There can be five pin, which can be a ground transmit receive RTS CTS. You'll need to consult your device manual on which connections within that is important. Today, we're just gonna look at the basics of how to make sure you get a good connection. As we, tools we're gonna need today is a tech driver and a pair of steps. The average Phoenix connection where it plugs actually into the device, you're gonna have teeth forward, but what we're looking at is actually gonna be the back side of it. You've got your slots for the cable to come in, and then you've got a top screw which is actually where you tighten and loosen that bar, that little piece of metal that comes down and bites onto the cable. When doing a Phoenix connection, in order to know how much jacket to remove off the cable, actually use your Phoenix as your its own guide. You can place the cable in. It'll actually, you want to go and butt up against the inside. You can give the cable a little bit of a pinch and then you can know how much jacket to remove. Why is that important? If you go too short on the jacket, you risk actually closing the connection on the plastic itself in which you won't get a connection. If you remove too much of the jacket, like the ground here that doesn't have a jacket, if that's coming out, you risk the cables actually crossing and possibly shorting out. Today we're gonna to use, we've got our four-way cable here. We've got our red, we've got our black, we've got our white, we've got our green, and then we've got our ground. Our colors, when it does comes to cabling, is actually helpful so that you know that where you start the cable matches where you end the cable on the other side. And then to the importance of that, and this is where control differs from a audio connection. Where an audio connection, you can have a plus a minus ground. When you're looking at control and you just have a transmit and receive, if I place on one side, I'll use this Phoenix to kind of show what are going in. According to our device, our transmit is the TX. I'm gonna use red for TX on this side. I'm gonna close that down and help pull trick. Once you do have a good connection, give it a little pull. For control, at the other end, that red now becomes a receive because we're talking about actual signal path, transmit to receive. And this is where color is important when it comes to doing our control cables. So on this side, our receive is gonna be our third our third one instead of the second one, okay? Our next important, since as we're doing it, we're talking about sending our, having our receive on this side will be our black, which is going in number three, tighten that down. But as we mentioned before, transmit to receive, so that signal actually crosses. So now our black is gonna be on our number two. So if I'm looking down from above, if I'm not, paying attention, you risk not getting a good signal flow if you're not paying attention to what the device says. Whichever is your lead device, start there. Make that, uh, have it dictate that your first connection is red, second connection is black. So once again, what's important in doing control analog is to know and please trust your manual, trust the markings on your device as far as to know what connection it needs and what pathway. Thank you for your time.